I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Get up, Polly! There's a taxi here! We'll be okay! Move it! Come on! Pull over in front of that bar. It's in the place. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. Oh, you work. I love the smell of burning paintwork. Block her dead. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Cillieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on! I got but what you did paint. I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, there's still a yeah. gas in your tank. Get Boss it back. is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Ignora quelli idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. Here he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe they'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. Right. That don't count. Point it at the target over there. Not at me, you moron. I killed guys for less, Tom. Quit kidding around. Good bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing, needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finny.
Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, uh, what? Losing some motors to him. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Come on, Tata Tommy. Show me what you can do. Bring me something good to work on. Huh? Have a good day, Mr. Tellus. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. This is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha. So little now, she's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good. Here, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. Oh, I'll... Tommy, I'll get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al. I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without pain? It's at the back of the shop, Tom. Where's the money? Run, fetch up. It's on the table, brown envelope. Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Well, he slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, 
No problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs that are in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Dead in the street. Eyes wide open. People walking by. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on his tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet, Wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kinda not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot? I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far. Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even the low. To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? 
You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. But happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on.
They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ! Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails! He's got the money, Tom! Oh, catch the bastard! Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! to be on the inside. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And then next, you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. 
God damn it! Moron! The jam with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh? Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running bulls, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. He wants something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Right. That was so nice. For you, maybe. But those brats, not so much. Help you, Tom? Hey, ignore what Sam was saying. Those parakeets were singing just for me. The six. Hey, hey, buona sera, Tommy. Hmm. 
So that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him up a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is a Sutter guy, little Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Bobby, yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started things I've seen. Okay, this is it. She is. 1929 Carazella CC. 1929. 1929 Carazella C series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this on the road, the cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30? before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard.
Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. So 
So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. We got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. They're off. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Who's going to survive? The lost head of the turn. It must be a bad idea. Some really good. Some of these drivers being missed. There's more than a paper getting printed there today. Let's see what the car is going to do. Let's see what the car is going to do. Let's see what the car is going to do. Let's see Contender, the front three are jostling for position. Tommy Angelo 
closing first, but will he stay there? Anderson and Garcia are in second and third, waiting for a mistake from Angelo. our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing some bad boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh! <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe.
You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? Yo, mama made that look easy to Tommy. When they started, started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure will, Tom. Thanks. Congratulations, Capion. Yes, that win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, Why anything for the coup. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Great race, champ. Hey! Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dope, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. This your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. They'll start to try to clear us out before dark. How'd you drive more. after the tuna? The Tried to go is. sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? What came by? Five minutes ago, maybe? Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Good run, Stop making like last year, folks. Up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says boo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank 
it out like Sam does. Go home to wherever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I want to get with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Hey, the ladies! Hey, near the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. The taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Ooh-hoo-hoo! Uh -huh. Throw me a home. Yeah. Maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah. A good idea. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I don't feel so good.